I've been in rehearsals for Broadway. I've done interviews with Broadway stars and legends. I've met so many people through this program. And then the minute that I tell them I'm a second year theater management and producing student from Columbia, the way that they just light up because they're like, oh, she knows. She knows what she's talking about. This program has opened my eyes to what it means to be in the theater world and to be in like commercial and professional theater. Fabulation was like a dream come true for me because I was just blown away because for the first time, I felt represented on the page. I had a lot of conversations with Sarah Michelle who um, played Undine in my production. And one of the reasons that I even casted Sarah Michelle is because she would talk about this play like she was already in it before she even auditioned. Lynn Nottage is a professor here at Columbia and she is one of my favorite playwrights ever. So when I first heard about it, I'm like, oh my God, I have to audition for this. Each of the cohorts are very small which is why it is so imperative that you have the community of people around you that know exactly what you're going through. My job as a producer is to make sure that I have the right environment set up so that Tanasia can be able to do her job and direct. Stuff that gets me excited is stuff that is touching a nerve. Like it's fun and you're like, oh, this is a good time, good acting, da, 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 but you're like, oh, this actually makes me feel a little uncomfortable. I think when I'm writing or directing, I'm thinking about my parents who are Caribbean immigrants. And I always want to make sure that what I'm making respects them and challenges them. I think the way it's written, it asks the audience, especially the black audience, to hope which is not something we often get. And it's exciting to get to go to do a play every day where the message is like, there's a chance. Just as actors on stage are performing the show every night, we are calling the show every night. It's been super fantastic and refreshing to have someone as open to ideas as Wes is. There's not a sense of this is mine and this is yours. There's more a sense of this is ours. There's so many stories that we tell over and over again, but I think there's equally as much room for stories that have not been told before and stories from a different perspective. And I would love to be part of having people sit in a theater and have the same feeling that I had when I was 10 years old and my parents took me to see my first show. And I was like, oh my God, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. script development dramaturg for DeAndre Shorts the group. He came to me with like this broad idea of I want to do a play about group therapy for men who have been sexually assaulted. A very vulnerable piece, but he was like I want it to be funny, I want it to be about healing, and I want you with me. I always go into a room as a listener first, just trying to take the temperature of a room, understand people's needs and their wants, and like meet them with as much of my imagination as I can. Sometimes growth doesn't always mean 100 steps forward. Sometimes it can mean 10 steps back. The program has taught me it's okay to be a little bit messy because sometimes a little mess is what makes your plays perfect. My collaboration with DeAndre has been fantastic. It's been incredible to have the playwright in the room so that I can ask him questions. Or if I don't have an idea about something, it's, what did you picture when you wrote this? And then he'll say something and I'll go, oh, and that sparks something else. They're not just teaching us how to be playwrights. They're teaching us how to use our craft to help create a better industry. It's been a blessing just to be able to learn from these magnificent teachers. My life has changed since I've been at Columbia. I'm leaving with a better knowledge of who I am as a director, and I'm also leaving with a community of artists, both that are way ahead of me and both who are on my level, which we will continue to create theater together. 
coming to a city and meeting nine other playwrights and us having to learn how to be a community together taught me that I can do anything. So this program really has allowed me to grow as a person and become someone that I didn't ever think that I could be. You gotta know what your purpose is in order to have longevity, and in this program, you're in pursuit of finding that. You might not know when you first walk in, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna know by the time you leave.